Welcome, friends. Today, we're doing another fragrance rotation video for the week ending the 4th of December, 2022. Marvelous. So, this week has, it's had less of a theme than last week, which was very ambery. Um, but it still has that warm, slightly dark edge that now we're getting into like the depths of winter, you know, we're actually hitting winter now. I consider December a winter month, uh, December, February and January. So I will start at the beginning and on Monday, Monday, I decided to wear a fragrance I haven't worn before and I'm glad I wore it. I enjoyed it a lot more when I gave it a full wear, I must admit. And this is Bortnikoff's Oud Monarch. Now, Oud Monarch is a real Oud and it's a little bit floral. Um, it's a little bit out of my usual comfort zone, I want to say. Wheelhouse, the Americans call it. Not sure. Um, but it's different from the type of perfume that I usually wear. Quite floral, more chocolatey than floral on me, though, I must admit. Um... Very cocoa, very dark, warm, smooth, vanilla. Uh, there's a bit of rose, a little bit of um, like a yellow floral vibe too. Um, very good though. Very good. Enjoyed wearing it. I'll be wearing it again, hopefully. I just need to, I need to, I need to force myself to wear it, you know? I need to like actually reach for it because I keep it on top of the bureau rather than in it because I keep it in this little box because it's one of these dinky little things and I don't want it to get smashed or break or get lost in and amongst the crowd uh, but it's definitely coming to that time of year you know it's got like castorium civet oud chocolate cinnamon that kind of thing you know so this is what I wore on Monday and I thoroughly enjoyed it Tuesday Tuesday, I decided to wear something equally as niche, um, but from a completely different type of brand. And this is Oriental Velour by Leon de Madabla. It is absolutely glorious. Absolutely glorious. It's... Not one of the Antoine Lees, granted, but it's still beautifully made. They know how to pick a perfumer, let's put it like that. Um, big resinous myrrh. Um, a green, a green mintiness and freshness from the vetiver and the spruce which is a really good note. I like the note of spruce. Um, you could wear this in the spring as well. Autumn, winter, and spring. Green, but it's got like an evergreen kind of vibe. And then it's got this minty freshness, um, which the myrrh also adds to. Uh, very beautiful. Very nice, very classy, and very well made, and top ingredients as usual from the brand. Now, on Wednesday, I went for a recent purchase. Oops, sorry, I've just rocked your world. And this is Mestiminui by Etro, fabulous brand. Released in 1994. It's got, a, it's got a light citrus top. Which is good. But it doesn't last very long. As light citrus tops won't. And then again. Myrrh. 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 
a little bit of incense, a little bit something spicy, a little bit something dark, a little bit something sweet. Very well blended, very well made. All of these are. It's a fantastic house. This is the other cologne version, but it lasts for about four to six hours. You could re just reapply it. That's what I did. Put it on. What Probably reapplied it twice. So I wore it, applied it three times in one day. Still absolutely fantastic. You know, brilliant. Got a lot of, got a lot of pleasure and enjoyment out of that way of wearing this brand. Very good perfume. Next. I'm going to have to be careful about this. I will tell you what I smelled. This is Eugene's Bel Am. His new release, which came out the week before this one. Um, or last week, as it's known in English. Big iris, chocolate, and this kind of salty, this salty skin kind of vibe I get from it. Um, performance is large and don't worry I, I didn't wear all of that at once I've been sending out samples in the UK for Eugene so and that is what I wore on Thursday on Friday I went for something ambery and it is ambery you know and this is Grand Soir by Francis Kurdajan. I think this is a bang average amber. I think this is really average. Now, you see, I've worn it twice now. That's how much I've used. I wear a lot of it when I wear it because it's not nuclear. It's not big, you know? It's not big. It's not clever. Um, it's... Vanillic, it's musky, it's a little sweet, but not too sweet. It's not very loud, even though I've worn like, in two wears I must have worn about, what, four mil? You know? Um, when this is gone, it's gone and I won't be replacing it. I think it's very average, I think it's very normal. Um... And it's nothing like any of the other fragrances on this list in that respect. Yesterday, and I can still smell this on my t-shirt from yesterday. Unbelievably potent, unbelievably good, brilliant fragrance, perfect for this time of year. You can tell by the dent I've put in it. One of the best designers of the last 10, 15 years. Gucci Guilty Absolute, medicinal bandages, TCP, antiseptic ointment, um, hospital floor, leather, vetiver, papyrus, stunning, smoky, fresh in a way. You know, everything's cleansed by fire. And that's what this kind of is. Magnificent. I absolutely love this stuff. And I would highly recommend you at least sampled it or tried it. Great fragrance. Yes. Lovely. And finally, today's scent of the day. Beautiful. One of the best smelling perfumes in my collection. Absolutely stunning. This is Serge Luton's Santal Majuscule. And it is majest it is majestical. That's what a uh, majuscule means. Majestical. Stunning. Beautiful. Rose, sandalwood, and cacao. Again, another cacao. You know, three cacaos in this list. Chocolate. I like a chocolate note, not not too chocolatey, not milk chocolatey, but slightly cacao. It's uh, it's beautiful. It really is. I said one of the best smelling fragrances in my collection, and it is absolutely stunning. 
It's fresh, but it's dark. It's woody, slightly powdery. It smells like a high class, a high class scent. It's Christopher Sheldrake at his finest. It's right up there at the top of the at the top of the brand for me, along with Amber Sultan. Um, and feeling agile. A couple of others as well, maybe more than a couple of others. Very difficult, very difficult to rank my Serge Luton's. I did a family portrait, um, which is now obsolete because I've actually bought more since then. So that wasn't very clever, was it? Uh, when Serge Luton gets it right, he really, really gets it right. But there's a lot of them that I can't, I can't particularly stomach. You know, like uh, Fleur d'Oranger. Um, what's the other ones? Nuit de Cellophane. You know. But this one I absolutely adore. Anyway, this has been my fragrance rotation for the past week. I hope you have enjoyed it as I have enjoyed making it. Thank you very much, everyone. I will see you all again soon. Bye.